But it's it's great fun because you get to see everyone before the day, before the big day, um, and it's a nice way to kind of ease into it and just you know have a good time and it not actually be the day of the event. Um, it's also Joanne Froggart's birthday. I don't know if you've spoken to her yet. So it's great they've put on all these parties for her. I think there's four possible parties tonight. I don't think I'll make all four. I'll see how, how my stamina holds out. But then tomorrow is quite quiet, just the evening before party and then the big day, so yeah. Um, I usually have Thai food before I go to the Emmys. There's a vegan place called Vegan Plate that I order in from. Um, so Thai iced tea. I don't usually do caffeine, but that kind of gets me through. So that's really the only ritual I have. I usually put on mopey emotional music just because it lets me feel something so I'm not numb uh, with all my anxiety. So yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I haven't had a consistent thing, so I'm, and I've never won either. So maybe that's why. Maybe I'm doing the things. I'm not doing the things for good luck that people should be doing. I um, always check that my flies are done up. I think that's essential. Um, I, I, I wash thoroughly, uh, and I stand upright, uh, and that's about as close as I can get to a routine. I'm afraid. <laughs> Uh, music. It's so boring. Music, champagne, friends. My sister's my date, so that'll be fun and also stressful because she's my sister and I want to kill her most of the time. I love this outfit. Thank you. I mean, I think the house will be full of people the whole time. I'm just trying to have a good time and not freak out or have any sort of panic attack. That's my big goal. Um, I will get up in the morning and eat a good breakfast, since I'm sure that will be my basically my only meal for the day. <laughs> and then I think I start hair and makeup at like 10.45. We get an early start that day, so I'm going to spend the whole day in a gown, basically. But I picked a pretty comfortable one, so I think I'll be... <laughs> I think I'll be okay. I won't be, I mean, I'll be up very early, um, realistically. I'm, I'm very nervous, I mean, I'm very nervous. And I'll have, my son's got a sleepover, so he won't be there, so, I mean, then. So I'm just going to go for a big run, and then I'm going to have a giant cup of coffee and with cream, and then I'm just going to get on with it. This Monday I'm going to be playing uh, tennis uh, and then I'll slowly get ready. You know, you've got to get there really early. Um, so that's about it, really. First thing I plan on doing is taking a spinning class. We'll see if that actually happens. <laughs> um, but that's the first thing I decide to do. And then I'm going to take a nice bubble bath and then I'm going to put on my Spanx, get that all secure. <laughs> and my makeup and hair team will come in, they'll beat the face, do the hair, and then I'll throw on my beautiful gown, take pictures, take in the moment, say a prayer, and uh, get in my car. You try and, at least from my point of view, you know, try and just have it be like any other day and not get to it, because it's, when it's you know when you're sitting there and it's your category comes up, that's when you you know you start to sweat and you know it's kind of it gets really uncomfortable. So try and put it off until the very last minute. That's what I try and do. Not think about it. And, you know it's when you like start getting dressed and all that. Your stomach starts to do flip flops and careful what you eat. Don't drink too much. You know that's a big that's a big trap I think is. You, know, you get there and you're like, well, I better have a cocktail to settle my nerves. And then you get up there and make an ass out of yourself. <laughs> Hi, 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 Hi,
I mean, I love Modern Family. I love the gang at Modern Family, but it's time for a new show. <laughs> But I'm very, very, very happy that I am playing this marvelous role. So you see, the prize is already mine, and I know that very well. You know how people always say, well, I've been nominated, I feel like I'm already a winner. I look at it a different way. I look at it like I'm already a loser. And it's much easier, <laughs> you know what I mean? I've never, I've never been in this position. It feels pretty great, I have to tell you, to have won uh, for Masters of Sex. I feel um, I, I, it's kind of like a weight off my shoulders going into Monday. I, I really, am, whatever happens, I'm fine. I feel so happy to have gotten an Emmy this year, and I think I just feel a little less pressure going into Mondays.